Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Gemini friends and friends of Gemini. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, you guys, it's good to see you again. This is your reading for February 12th through the 18th. All messages are also timeless, so please, if you do feel drawn to something, I encourage you to take a sneaky peek. There's probably their uh, message waiting for you, all right? So I do channel messages with spirit prior through meditation. We go into a couple oracle cards, and then we move into the tarot. Gemini, my Gemini friend. So um, your meditation message, I actually really love the way that this came through. I thought it was pretty crafty of spirit. So um, what I saw was uh, blue eyeshadow first. It was this really brilliant blue, and it was being painted from the inner eye <clears throat> outward. So it wasn't like a solid eyeshadow. Those of you that like do makeup, I guess, okay, that are part of this. What was coming through for me was highlighting, like highlighting the inner portion of the eye. The eye to me always symbolizes truth. So moving into highlighting the inner truth. Love it, you guys, highlighting the inner truth. But being blue as well, very much getting this idea of the throat chakra. So not only are we highlighting the inner truth, but we're also speaking our inner truth. Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there with me. Love that. I thought the symbolism was really, really beautiful. So, uh, speaking our inner truth, highlighting, finding it, and then speaking it. So, Spirit wanted to work with the Blue Angel Oracle for you guys today, and you got, we got, grace and gratitude. Grace and gratitude. Release. Release frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. You are a beautiful soul. You are a beautiful soul. A beautiful friend. Yes, my beautiful Gemini friend. Loved by so many. Why cloud this love? Let the real you shine through. Be grateful for your life and the many blessings you receive each day. Gratitude will lead you to peace and peace will lead you to abundance and joy. Focus on the good in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that does not divide nor keep one truth from another. So your inner truth is also everyone's inner truth. Oh, I love this so far, spirit. Within this knowing, you will find all that you thought was missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. Ah, oh, love it. I breathe out all my frustration and anger and breathe in the light and love of my soul. In peace, there is wisdom. I am peace. I am wisdom. All is well. All is well, and so may it be. Um, loving this message so far, you guys, and it definitely applies to me as well, Gemini Sun. So I accept, I accept this message. Let's go ahead and get into the Animal Spirit Oracle for you. This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit. Animal Spirit, you guys. So um, I do have some free readings that I am making available now if you are interested in receiving one of those potentially. And this is something going forward that will be available. Stay tuned till the end there. I will give you guys the inside scoop on how to procure one of those, all right? Buffalo. So I definitely whale at the bottom there, diving deep, diving deep into some emotions, some inner truth, right? The buffalo is about being steadfast in your prod, uh, your, um, Progress, excuse me, not product. <laughs> this is an earth energy. If I can get to the earth part here. There we go. I did it. So buffalo. Grounded yet heavenly. Practical yet spiritual. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, yet its heart and mind rise toward heaven. The buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment. Upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. May, um, may we all experience, excuse me, this elusive yet life-changing bliss from time to time. And may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift. When in balance, trusting and pure presence. When out of balance, restless, lacks gratitude, which is what you had here, grace and gratitude, right? To bring into balance prayer and uh, bhakti, which is a type of meditation as well. I encourage you to look that, look into that, all right? All right, my Gemini friend. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot 
I'm curious to see what messages we have going on here. Ah, the moon here at the bottom, first of all, to start. So we're getting into some fears. I think some of the inner truth that's going on here is also attached to something that we may also fear. All right. Queen of Cups here at the split. Yep, we're protecting something. Or you guys are, not me. I am a Gemini sun, but that's not, I'm not protecting anything. <laughs> this, you guys, thank you for being here. I love you. Thank you for your love and support as well. Uh, please hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. Those are all great ways to support me, and I truly appreciate you guys doing that, helping with the growth of this channel. I couldn't do it without you. If this message does resonate with you and you feel called to do so, I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. I do accept tips and donations. Thank you guys so, so much. I also give personal readings if you're interested. That is a pinned comment in the comment section. You can check out my website. And I am offering extended readings as well. That is in the description, a link there for you, so you can check that out if in you want to. I encourage you to do so. I am doing um, love. In, in honor of Valentine's Day, I am adding a little bit of love to the extended reading this week. So nine of wands here, you guys have at the bottom. This is your hope, what you want. Um, I feel like resilience is what's coming through. I, especially these last couple, few readings, there's really been this message coming through of this unavoidable nature of approaching a situation, a conversation that either actually needs to happen between multiple parties or needs to happen energetically within yourself. There needs to be a closure, right? Something coming to uh, a positive closure. And I feel like that's, this is what you're wanting, okay? You may feel that things aren't quite finished, but you're hoping for success to be just around the river bend, right? With Grandmother Willow. <laughs> Yeah, keep going, all right? Let's keep going. Two of swords here at the split. Yes, there's a decision. And this is bringing fear and anxiety. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a general message, you guys. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which portions of these message this message is for you. You are powerful as well. Check out your rising moon and Venus for a more complete picture of what's going on. North node, any major placements. You are more than your sun sign. So devil pops out here, um, obsession, okay? This is a part of the fear that I'm working on here. I'm just going to place this at the at bottom or back at, yeah, back at the bottom here. Um, Eight of Pentacles here is what was at the bottom. So this is your fear version. There is a fear of putting passion back into this project or this situation where there used to be passion, there may be hurt now. This could be the situation where there's a conversation that needs to take place. You're feeling burnt out emotionally and there's a difficult step here in like starting again, allowing yourself to feel passion again. That's where I feel like the devil is, is keeping this, like keeping you trapped in that kind of thought process because you do deserve to feel passion again, to express passion again. If this is a relationship or work situation, hobby, what have you. Okay, let's move forward. Let us see. Ooh, gosh. Good stuff. Love this so far. I was loving it already, but um, you guys have the star. The star to start here in the general energy. So the star, this does come after a tower. And that is what came through, I think it was this last reading, the month. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to go watch it. Um, this is the event that is not, not transferable, cannot be avoided. The discussion that needs to happen, the whatever, okay, coming to terms with some truth. And it seems like that's coming through here too with that highlighting the inner truth. So this is your renewed hope. There's a reason to feel hope again. In this card specifically, there's, the hope is happening in the darkness of the crow's cloak here. That's the way I kind of describe that. So there is hope emerging from a situation that once was dark. I love this, you guys. Love this, love this. Having that torch there as well makes me feel like there's a guiding light, but there's also warmth. The torch can light a bonfire, right? As long as there is still this spark, that Ace of Wands that's there, as long as there's still this spark, it can make greater warmth. 
Page of Cups comes in here to clarify this. This could be for some of you... Like, I feel, I feel love, not necessarily romantic love for everybody. Whatever happened in the past here that needs to be, that the uh, tower's talking about, that star's bringing you renewed hope in. Whatever it is that you are walking towards gracefully and with gratitude, like a buffalo, <laughs> um, that is being replenished. Whether, for some of you, I do feel like there is a situation that can be rectified. Like what was hurt can be healed. For others of you, the healing comes from a new situation, a, a you know similar energy or better energy that comes through. Not to take its place, but to take its place. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe that that exists for you, though. Too is what I'm getting. You got to bring that into this reality too. And do it, because like you paid the price, right? You can't avoid the situation that can't be avoided. So might as well believe that there are also good things available for you, because there are. After a tower comes a star. That is the blessing of the cycle here. What was taken away is not... <laughs> replaced is not what I'm trying to say, but... Replaced. It's like an insurance company <laughs> that pays out. <laughs> You had an accident and it is being replaced, okay? It is being made new, shiny again. So King of Swords here is what you have here in the good stuff that comes through first. King of Swords is somebody who is honest. I feel like we're back to this conversation again, whatever needs to happen here. Being in the good stuff, I feel this is a successful conversation. If this is somebody that you do actually need to talk to, what I feel is um, maturity. Maturity coming from the parties involved. There may not be as much heart or emotional attachment to this situation, at least at first. Or at all, for some of you. There is respect. There is um, kindness in that regard. Which, you know, that's good. <laughs> Better than fighting, right? Hmm, let's keep going. Six of Swords. Um, transitioning, you guys, from, from the poo-poo, from all that shit, <laughs> to something much, much better. So being in the good stuff here, I love that. There's respect and there is a passage, safe passage. Yes. And yes, there is with the star. Yep, that tower is coming down. Depending on where it is you're standing, <laughs> um, that tower could come down on you or you could be watching it come down from a distance if you're prepared. Could determine your level of hurt, <laughs> right? But when that tower comes down, there is mutual respect from these parties is what I'm feeling. And this allows you safe passage. Let's keep going here. I'm excited to get into the extended on this. Always with Gemini, for sure. But especially with that star, I feel like there's... To really tap into that energy... Gratitude is a huge component of this, like Grace and Gratitude was saying there. Hmm, let's keep going. Four of Cups. This is what's in the dark, what you may not know or notice, the mechanism driving this message. So you are, um, what was coming through in the good stuff here, first of all, there are a lot of crows in the murder of crows tarot. I didn't explain it. This is my murder of crows tarot. This is the this may hurt tarot. So in the good stuff with your king of swords, you have that crow there. What I'm feeling is that like that is spirit. That is our guides, angels, whomever attached contractually in these situations between the parties that need to talk. It is being, there's a space that's being held by these divine beings. And that is what is allowing this passage, the safe passage and this mutual respect. So in what's hidden here in Four of Cups, I feel there's that divine being there again, being watched out. Um, what's hidden here is you could, you could miss the opportunity 
to tap into that energy. Like what I'm feeling is in the previous readings too is unavoidable about the situation is the energy needs to go somewhere. There has been a cause and the effect must now transpire, right? Like a bill needs to be paid. You ate the food <laughs> and the bill needs to be paid. That bill can be paid by acknowledging, highlighting the inner truth here and expressing that, having the courage to do that. We're Gemini, that's the voice, 1551. Like grace and gratitude was talking about inner truth, though, or, you know, being, it is all of our inner truth. Recognizing, that's what I'm getting from this, recognizing that your inner truth is also human inner truth is important in this situation. This is where you may not be seeing this. This is where your guides and angels are trying to get you to see this. Don't miss that opportunity for wisdom, for understanding, not even for the betterment of whatever happened here, but for you as a soul growth here, understand that what you're experiencing, nothing that we ever experience is unique to us. Everything that we all ever feel or experience is attached to the original blueprint of what that feels like or, or what has happened there. So whatever you're feeling or going through, somebody else has felt that and gone through that. And there's a connection to that experience as well. Recognizing that is very powerful, you guys. And I feel like that's a part of what you're being led to understand here. So Six of Cups here comes in to clarify what's hidden. I get, um, so this does go back to like childhood, inner child. Six as well reminds me of the lovers. That is the lovers card. That is you, Gemini. This could have been... Um, a lover. It could have been a family member. There's what's also being shown to you here is the recognition, that inner truth, again, that is everyone's inner truth. There's the recognition of what may be going on for any other individual as well. And like I've said before in, in past readings, this doesn't mean that this may not be you where you need to talk to somebody face to face. It is this process of recognition and understanding, though, that is the, the rectification of the conversation, okay? Understanding, okay, love it, spirit. Understanding this inner child, that we are all scared bunnies here, okay? Trying to figure our shit out. That at the end of the day, underneath, underneath it all, as Gwen Stefani says, <laughs> underneath it all, we are all innocent. We are all innocent children. When you recognize that, it doesn't, it doesn't um, erase something that's happened or make something okay even. It is that greater understanding though that is so, so important to recognize that at the end of the day, underneath anything, no matter even how foul it is, there is an innocent energy, that child energy that may be suffering too. Compassion is really important. Compassion does not prevent us from making or stop us from making decisions that are healthy for us. Maybe there are boundaries or separation that needs to happen. Um, but that understand, there's something about that acceptance and understanding that is very, very important. We are distinctly lacking compassion as a species. So let's grow that. And that's what I feel like is going on here. That is what I feel like you can't avoid. You are either going to learn that lesson or it's gonna just keep coming around and bitch slapping the hell out of you until you figure it out, okay? So let's figure it out, Gemini. Um, Knight of Cups here comes in as your challenge. So for those of you that love, this was love, like a relationship, what I'm getting in the challenge portion here, the part that is hard is most difficult for you to get through in learning about this is overcoming the reaction to the pain of now um, kind of like mindlessly filling your cup, hedonism even. Whether that's sex, food, drugs, um, unhealthy attachments to relationships, people, 
The challenge here is stepping away from that, looking a bit further into the distance, not being so short-sighted, learning how to become romantic again too, maybe believing in love as well. And that doesn't have to just be romantic, friendship, familial, love in general. <laughs> uh, justice comes in here to clarify this. I do feel like for some of you, there is a hang up on like whatever you believe that the balance should be. I don't think there's a soul on this planet that hasn't gone through this process of like, like, well, I hope they get their karma or they deserve this or, or whatever. We all have a judge and jury inside of us and they're constantly judging us and they are constantly judging others as well. So the difficulty and challenge here is that um, there's a hang up on that. And if you're not seeing the justice play out the way that you believe that it should for somebody, that is where I'm getting like you're getting stuck. Because ultimately we're not in charge of that, right? And how many times do things play out completely differently than the way we want them to or expect them to? Most of the time, honestly. And rarely do we actually see true justice. Sometimes, sometimes life is kind in that way, lets us off the hook. But a lot of the time we have to cut through our own bullshit, okay? Take that sword there and, and cut it off. Cut that turd off. And that was one of your readings a while ago too. Cut that turd off. Just get it out of here. Don't let it take up any more of your time if this is a situation where you're not meant to have a conversation with somebody. Cut the cord. Quit transferring that energy. That's, the, that's a part of the lesson that you need to learn here. So three main messages, Spirit for Gemini. Passions. Don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. So for those of you that do need to have a conversation to heal something, be brave, you guys. Listen to your heart. You, I feel like your heart is telling you. Gemini, isn't it? Uh, be brave. Don't be afraid to fail. You only fail if you don't do it, right? Leap of faith, taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. If your heart is fluttering as I'm saying that, this message is for you, okay? <laughs> if your heart is dropping into your stomach, then you know that this is for you. If this is making you angry, then this is for you. Indignant. If there is any sort of emotional response outside of, you know, kind of baseline, your whatever your baseline is, this message is for you to approach a situation of, of conversation or healing something. Self-limiting beliefs, negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. I feel that's attached to the uh, obsession here for justice. Um, but also even like, well, this would never work. They would never talk to me. They would never want to talk to me. Um, I can't forgive them. They would never forgive me, etc. You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself to think a little bit differently, you guys. Surprise yourself. I think you'd be surprised. So the two... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. The two components here for... Um, to ultimately move towards your highest outcome, your highest good. So the energy that you need in order to move to your highest good here is the Ace of Swords. Straight to the heart is what I'm feeling here. That that crow is pierced there. So Ace of Swords is critical thought. It's being logical, new idea, difficult thought, dealing with difficult thought. Cutting through the bullshit. It's the same sword here in justice. So this is what's needed to approach your highest good. Cut the crap, you guys. Be honest with yourself. If you were feeling, like I said, back to that, any of that, this message is for you. The energy that's blocked here that needs to be released to move to your highest good, you have three of swords. Because of course you do. And especially in this deck here, I see this, this is loss, heartbreak. Those emotions that come with that. This card especially I see is like a death of innocence because of the swan. Being brought back to the six of cups here, this, um, this could be familial. Like I said, there's inner child attachment here though. And that's what I feel like has been hurt. And that's why this is so difficult. Being in what's blocked, you must unblock this. You must take those swords out of the heart. In order to heal that innocence, the swords can't be there. <laughs> you have to take that courage, and that's the ace of swords here too, having courage to pull those swords out. 
Those are the self-limiting beliefs. I could never heal. Hmm? If that's what you want. <laughs> but I know that you know you deserve better, Gemini. I know you do. So I love you, Gemini. Thank you for joining me here for the general. If you'd like to dive a little bit deeper, I do have the extended. Like I said, there's a link there in the description and um, free readings, okay? So anybody who purchases an extended reading from hither to forth will be uh, eligible for a free 30 minute reading. I am giving one of those away every week. So many chances to win one of those if you are interested. Another way to win a free reading here, if you go into the description and click on the newsletter link, join my newsletter there, email newsletter, become a part of the Phoenix fam. You guys also have an opportunity to win a free 30 minute reading one time every month. As long as you stay uh, subscribed, you are eligible. All right, you guys. So happy to offer these Phoenix perks. Please take advantage of that. If I leave you here, have a beautiful, beautiful week, Gemini. And if you're joining me in the extended, I'll see you guys here very, very soon. Okay, bye. All right, <laughs> Knight of Cups here at the bottom. So this is what was in your challenge. <laughs> so we're gonna start off there, okay, Spirit. So we're talking about this notion of romance again, bringing romance into your life. I love this already. Looking at some love, and I feel like like as soon as these swords come out of your heart and whatever needs to be rectified inside, outside, both, as above, so below, this comes pouring back in. Uh, great so far. Okay, lots of major arcana. Uh, magician comes through the chariot. Looking at stability as well. Some magic. High priestess here, okay. I feel... Feel some things on this. We'll get into that. But Queen of Cups here is what you have to start for love. We will look at that here in a second. Um, intuition seems to be playing a big part in what is going on for you guys right now, especially towards love. So let's dive into it, Gemini.